What if I told you I could make breakfast time so much easier for you? If you're looking for a delicious, healthy, budget-friendly, and easy breakfast to make, stick around. All right, everyone, this is what you're going to need. You need a muffin pan. I am using this standard muffin pan. You can also use a mini muffin pan, that works well. I have these silicone liners that I'm using and they're great because you can just peel them back and they pop right out. I would not really suggest using paper liners because they will tend to stick to the egg. So if you don't have the silicone liners, you can just spray the pan and pop them out that way. I'm gonna need a bowl and a whisk. You can also use an electric mixer, that works well. I'm doing three types of cheeses today. I have cheddar, a Mexican mix. I also have mozzarella. As for meats, I'm using bacon, and I'm also using some sausage crumbles. For vegetables, I'm using fresh spinach that has been sauteed, sauteed onions. I also like to use raw vegetables. I like the little bit of crunch. So when they're in the oven, they will cook partially, but they will not fully cook. So it gives a little bit of bite. So that's optional. You can do raw or you can do cooked. I'm also doing some broccoli and I also have some peppers. Now I did saute the peppers ahead of time. You also could do those raw. I'm going to do a Mexican flair one. So I have some black beans. Of course, you'll need eggs. For seasonings, I'm doing salt. I use kosher salt. If you're not familiar with kosher salt, there are larger granules, if you can see. Three other spices that I'm using. I'm using chili powder in the Mexican themed one. I use coarse black pepper. And of course, I can't forget good old garlic. So before you get started mixing your ingredients, we're gonna turn our oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna let that warm up while we're mixing. Let's go. To help prevent our eggs from sticking to our molds or our pan, we are going to spray. I'm just using some vegetable-based cooking spray. I'm just... Also, I like to spray around these because when you are pouring it in or putting it in the oven, they tend to spill over and then this will keep it from getting crusty on top and making cleanup harder to do. All right, set your pan aside and let's get cracking eggs. I also have a scrap bowl. The eggshells that I crack, they will be going into the compost pile, which is wonderful for the earth. So if you have the opportunity to do that, I highly recommend it. We're just making the egg base for all of the muffins. We're going to add in salt, pepper, and garlic. When we make the Mexican flavored one, we will add the chili powder to that one only. So I'm just going to put some salt in, some pepper, and of course garlic. If you don't like any of these, just leave them out. You don't need to add them. I'm just going to whisk it up. I'm going to add some eggs in. I'm going to fill it up about halfway. You don't want to overfill it at first because we are going to put the toppings in. Add in our toppings. I'm going to start with onion and bacon. So I'm just going to put some in there. And the best part is you can do all different combinations. Do some onion and bacon.
Get a spoon and push this stuff down a little bit. You want it to be covered in the egg. Now we're gonna add in our cheese. that are not completely filled I'm gonna go back and use up the rest of the egg I have I only have a little bit left so I'm just gonna to top this off here so now we wait I like to leave them in for 10 minutes, then I will check them. You can use a toothpick or a knife. If you open it in the oven and go to pull them out and you see them jiggling, they're not ready. I like to rotate my pan, that way it's cooking evenly. Sometimes ovens are not calibrated correctly, so you might find the back of your oven cooks faster than the front and vice versa. Plus, if you have a convection oven, it's gonna cook faster. So it's really hard to give you an exact time of how long they're gonna take. But for my oven, it takes about 20 minutes. Okay, so let's recap on all of the information I covered so far. If you're not adding any ingredients aside from eggs, you will need probably one egg per muffin. This is a super budget-friendly meal idea that you can have any time of the day. You can pull them out of the freezer the night before and just pop them in the microwave, or you can reheat in the oven or maybe even the air fryer. We are at the 10 minute mark. They are looking amazing. I'm gonna rotate the pan and put them back in for 10 more minutes. Look at these bad boys. check if they're done. You can see that they're not jiggling when I shake it. This whole center would just jiggle. Get a toothpick and you're going to put it in and then you're going to pull it out and there's nothing there so you know this would have egg all over it if they were not done. So now you can them cool off a little, pull one out for you. I love the silicone liners because you literally can just peel this and it'll oh, Pop right out onto the floor. Pop right out onto the floor. That literally just fell on the floor. I went to pop it out of the silicone mold and it, it literally just jumped out and fell on the floor. Yeah, eggs can jump apparently. So delicious. I really suggest you try making them. Then come back and let me know how they turned out. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so happy that you joined me in the kitchen today. I love cooking for you guys. If there's something you would like to see me cook here on my channel, feel free to leave a comment below and I will see what I can do. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.